Well, the Pittsburgh Writers Workshop is um, kind of a new thing for me. It's the first year that um, I actually had an opportunity to take part in it. And one of the things that was important to us since um, SCB SCBWI is um, an international organization, we're also local, and um, we have Western Pennsylvania region, uh, we want to be able to find new members, find people that are interested in writing for children and reach out to them and find those folks and bring those individuals into our group. And so when we found out that the Pittsburgh Writers' Day Workshop was going to be, Writing Day Workshop, was going to be held here, um, we just kind of reached out and said, hey, what can we do to help? And so um, we've been here volunteering, we've been um, meeting new writers, we've been encouraging very nervous writers who are pitching to literary agents whenever we can, just because that's kind of our bag. Um, but we've uh, just been here to try to make a presence and let folks know about our organization. Yes, the Society of Children's Book Writers and Organization, oh, I can't say it now, you messed me up. The Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. Um, as I mentioned, it's an international organization. So um, the cool thing about SCBWI is that you can basically go into any city um, and probably find writers that are a part of our organization. You can go to the London chapter and participate in a critique group. You can go to Belgium and go to a meeting, or you can go to one right here in Pittsburgh um, or surrounding area. We have members that are not just in Pittsburgh, but you know, all the way up into Erie and um, you know, we kind of split down the state. We are such a big state that we have an Eastern PA um, region, so they kind of handle that that side of the state, if you will. Um, but our job is to try to shepherd new writers on their journey to publication and help the writers who have been published to make the most of their careers. So we do that through education, we do that through outreach, we do that um, by bringing in literary agents like some of the ones that are here, um, you know, to try to help writers find matches to, to help them reach their career goals. Um, we talk about craft, we teach plot, we teach, um, you know, how to just really start from, hey, I've got an idea and I'd like to write a book to making that book a reality. And I think the coolest thing is when you meet somebody who has an idea, just a germ in their mind, and they've not actually put it down on paper yet, maybe they're just thinking about it, and they come, we give them some encouragement, and they come back and say, hey, I wrote that book. And it's even better if they come back and say, hey, guess what, I'm gonna be published, or I've got a contract, or I'm gonna self-publish it. Whatever the case is, it's fantastic to get to see them go from just conception to making their work become a reality and their dreams kind of come true, which is cool. I write um, mostly young adult fantasy titles uh, under the name Stephanie Keys, um, but I also write adult romance as uh, Gemma McKay. And so I have a, a fantasy series, The Star Child, that is published through um, Ink Spell Publishing. And I also have several self-published titles that are out there as well. So. Um, I've probably, my first book came out in 2012, and so I've been roughly putting out about one title a year since then, so I'm pretty tired, but it's, it's a blast. I've uh, gotten a chance to go all over the country and meet all kinds of wonderful people that um, just love to read, and that is the best thing in the world. So I always tell people it's um, the hardest job you'll ever love. So the Pittsburgh literary scene is amazing. And I don't think when people think about coming to Pittsburgh, you know, somebody who was born and bred here, that we tend to think about it as having this amazing literary scene, but it does. Um, the Pittsburgh Arts and Lecture Series is probably one of the better known opportunities in the city. Um, but you know there are fantastic authors that are coming in. We had Rainbow Rowell, Maggie Seafodder, um, we've had Dave Pelkey, you know, all these different um, wonderful writers who are writing for children are, are coming to our town. We recently had um, an event with Jonah Winters. Um, uh, so there's a lot of really talented and amazing um, authors that are right here. Um, I would probably say about three or four years ago, I may be a little bit off in the timing, but um, we had uh, Nick Courage and Rachel Ekstrom Courage uh, start Litzburg. Um, which is the online literary newsletter. So they're kind of bringing all of these different opportunities and events around the city to light, which is fantastic. So, um, you know, not only 
Um, are there great opportunities to go see writers, but there are organizations like SCBWI um, in the city who are um, offering opportunities for learning about writing. So then we have our amazing library system. There are so many um, great opportunities to go and learn. You can probably not you know, walk two feet without running into a writer's critique group opportunity. So there's a lot going on in the town. So it's exciting to see um, my hometown develop this wonderful literary um, experience for people coming into the city that are new here and also those of us who have been around uh, for quite a while. In Pittsburgh, I mean, there are so many writers that I'm constantly meeting people new, or that are new. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I will, I, I go to an event, I'll always see a million people I know too. So it's kind of cool because when you go to do an author event, a lot of times it ends up being more like a family reunion than, yeah. <laughs> than anything else. Um, a lot of the writers that I've met around the Pittsburgh area are just really fantastic, like most Pittsburghers, and willing to help and willing to um, you know, just kind of say, hey, you know what? What are you doing? How can I support you? How can I um, kind of be there for you? Um, I have a collection of um, other author friends in Pittsburgh, and so we always tell each other, hey, I'm doing this event. You want to come and do this event with me? And we, you know, kind of keep in touch, which is really great. So in some ways, you know, we're always meeting new people, but we always get to see old friends again and again, which is nice. My name is Stephanie Keyes. I'm an author from the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, and Mr. Bones knows me.